uh, and also Shinetaka. Thank you so much, Zimbabwe, for listening. I know last week we had some few problems here, and uh, bear with us. We're trying to get to the bottom of what actually hap what's happening with this kind. But uh, what I've noticed now, at the minute, um, I can only take your call if you do call me using Skype. If you do use your mobile or your landline, I cannot take your call for some reason or another. But uh, I'm sure people are working behind the scenes to try and find out what on earth is going on. Why can't we uh, receive phone calls from landlines and mobiles as well? But uh, Jizine, I know um, my usual panelists are still uh, filtering in. Uh, thank you so much. Um, I just want to say that, uh, you see, we... We run on a transparency uh, here. Um, the next holiday coming up uh, is Easter holiday, isn't it? Yes, Easter holiday. I will not be here at all. Uh, in fact, I'll be away for three weeks uh, over the Easter holiday. And uh, uh, my brother will be taking uh, care of businesses here per the main corner show, Mukoma GV3. And I'm also taking Sekuru with me. So unfortunately... Uh, Sekuru and I will not be available uh, for the three weeks, <laughs> the Easter holiday. Uh, uh, I'm coming too. I'm coming too. <laughs> no, Sally. Sally is staying. You'll be helping uh, uh, DJ uh, GV3. I already told the crocodiles and they said, okay, they'll make a pass for me there in the, in the river. In the <laughs> 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 no, we, we can't go all of us. So, um, Vafi Bay is gonna stay, um, um, Koma Wilbert is gonna stay, and um, Koma Teach will stay as well. They are not going anywhere. It's only me and Sekul that's going on holiday. Me, so, they don't need me. They can run without me. They can get Moyo in my place. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> right. Anyway, Sally, welcome to the show. How are you? I'm very well, thank you, DJ Sonsen. Good evening, DJ Sonsen. Good evening, my Sekuru. Good evening, Wilbert. And good evening, listeners, wherever you are. I hope mm -hmm. that you had a good day. You can have a peaceful night. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, Sally. Uh, Sekuru, man, swear to say, good evening. Hey, Ripano. Taswira, good evening. Yeah, Taswira. Sarana, who are you on holiday? Can we allow her to do that? Ah, uh, Sally is always welcome. Okay, <laughs> all right. No, I know that. And even if I'm not tough, I will still go there with a big sign. I'm here, say Kuru. <laughs> even if you are not invited. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. Hey, how are you, my brother? DJ Sosa, that's good as a canaga, and I want to Sally and the Jamba. Hi, hi, Elias. I didn't see you. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay, yes, as a Seguru Magadi Magadi Muria Zimbabwe, who bet Benford. Right. Uh, we, 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 we missed you last week. Eh, Dine Urombo DJ, Zimazengua, but I need Ivan of Bondi, Pinza Patait. It was a Maguta or a nation, I would decide. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. No, that's fine. Um, come a little bit. Welcome to the show. Good evening, everybody. Yeah, we've been looking forward to every Thursday. Sorry to hear you are going on holiday, but enjoy yourself. Yeah, I, I will enjoy myself. Uh, we, we will be going, uh, when is it? Second week of April. We'll be going and not again, Jesus. Not again. We are, we are going. I'm going with Sekul this time. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Yes, so <laughs> yeah, I, that's a state of interest. Why did you choose Sekul? Is it because he's good looking? <laughs> you see, he's old, and DJ oh, Susan's oh, gonna help him oh, on oh, the plane. Oh, I am in some, I, I am in some will be, but not a, a, a homosexual <laughs> like you are trying to imply. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's nice to go with uh, people with a good sense of humor. You know, we are cheerful. You know, it's uh, uh, you know, it's uh, it also helps when you. 
wherever you go to go around with somebody who is handsome, you don't have to. It doesn't have to be a sexual relationship, you know. Yes, yes. <laughs> nah. <laughs> and also going with Sekuru, it's a good thing because he's he's always going to be giving you advice if you are getting out of hand, you know. Yeah, and you don't have to pay for it. That's good. That. <laughs> <laughs> you just listen. There's good advice. You give the one that's stepping out of line a tip across the ear, and that's it. You finish. You don't have to waste time with me. Uh, okay. All right, guys. Uh, let's move on. We've got a very important uh, issue that we want to talk about today. I'm um, Koma Benford, America. Welcome to the show. DJ uh -huh. I was not in that chose it, not in that chose it. Are you still a massive supporter of Donald Trump or you have changed your mind now? No, no, no. I've, I've always supported uh, Donald Trump. Uh, oh. I haven't changed my mind. <clears throat> you haven't changed your mind. Okay. Thank you so much uh, there. Right. <laughs> uh, listen, um, guys, you see. No, 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 no. Let me ask you, let me ask you a small question here. Okay. What's the difference between the person who supports Mugabe and Donald Trump? Oh, okay. Nothing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, 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 I don't know what you mean by, by that statement. There are two different individuals uh, in two different countries. No, but the supporter. No, I'm not talking about the people. I'm, I'm not talking about the two individuals. I'm talking about the people who support them. Uh, I don't... I, d I don't know what you are trying to say, Seguru. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Guys, here. Guys, here. Guys, here, Matambo. Guys, here, Matambo. Guys, here, Matambo. Now, listen, guys. I I I'm sure uh, all of you there on the panel uh, heard what my Mujuru had to say. She gave uh, a, a very uh, interesting interview to BBC. Uh, while she was visiting uh, uh, the UK in the past week and uh, you heard what she had to say I've got the audio here but I just thought look everybody is, 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 is had a chance to listen to it uh, so we, we, we must not waste time and replay it but uh, there was a lot of questions that she was asked and she answered them and uh, I'm just wondering how did you make of it you know, how did you make of that interview? Because to me, it was very interesting uh, interview. Um, and she came up fighting. And uh, were you satisfied with the answers that uh, were given uh, by Maim Juru? Uh, remember, these are the people that, you know, are vying to, 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 to challenge uh, Robert Mugabe, Zimbabwe. So they must be had. And we must, you know, consider them. We must consider them as a uh, viable alternative uh, to, 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 to Zanu PF and uh, Mugabe there. Uh, but uh, I don't know, um, maybe, shall I start with you, Mkoma Elliot uh, Fefe? Did you yeah. had a chance to listen to it? Yes, I did. Uh, actually, <coughs> being who, uh, who uh, I am, I managed mm -hmm. to listen both to Hard Talk BBC Mm -hmm. And also the conflict zone. I don't know whether you have, you have listened to conflict zone. Mm, no, I don't think I've managed to listen to the conflict zone. The only thing I saw was the the hard talk, which it was <coughs> quite an insight to me actually. I I I, I know I I never listened to those kind of uh, interviews, but this one, everyone was asking yeah. me to listen to <coughs> it, and it was interesting. What did you make of it? I think firstly. It actually exposed the difference between the type of politics uh, in Africa and that of the Western world. Mm. And uh, I think he, he, having watched it from the start to the end, I could see that he, politically in terms of discourse, he was very sketchy. Uh, in terms of facts, she was inadequate. In in terms of political charisma, uh, she was absent. In terms of um, even articulate, it was appalling. Um, I I have to say the truth. I mean, uh, I think she here was a chance. Mm. It's 
So, sorry, let me just switch off this one. Okay. My, my apologies. My no problem. It's a uh, right. I think I think she 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 they got an opportunity. Not many politicians uh, actually accorded the BBC hard talk. Hmm. It is what it is. It is a hard talk, of course. And uh, you go there well researched, and uh, you must be prepared to be grilled. And uh, once you accorded that chance, I think it is an opportunity in a lifetime to serve yourself. Uh, and I think she had a golden opportunity to come clean on her past. Mm. We, we, I think she needed to understand that the, the, the politics of the Western world, um, you know, once you come clean of your past, you can be forgiven. Okay? Mm. So you say, okay, yes, this is whom I was. And it was because of the environment that I thrived. But however, I'm no longer in that environment. And I want the people of Zimbabwe to forgive me. Right? I'm turning into a new leaf. And this is what I was very myopic under the umbrella of the here. Because of the environment, because of the type of leadership, because of the type of lead of ideology. This is why my ideology has totally changed. It, there is a political shift totally in terms of the ideology, in terms of after meeting people, outreach program, meeting people. I've seen that I've offended more people than I ever helped people. Okay? Mm. And this is where I am. And I need Zimbabweans to forgive me for that. Uh, and and, and the, this is exactly what I think he, these reporters were actually trying to help here to come to that conclusion. And unfortunately, she didn't see it that way. Instead, she was adamant. She actually was digging her head into the sand. And the, because of that, she there was incoherent facts. She lost a lot of consistent in terms of the facts, the flow of ideas, the facts themselves were contradicting from one point to another. And, and you could tell, this is, unfortunately, this is, if you are being tested from a psychological point of view, in terms of the consistent, and if you are a liar, it was like a, a liar detector that she was being examined under a microscope. Mm. Mm. But I think from my perspective, she, she she did fail the test and she could have done better mm. by accepting what she was and what she knew and what she had done. Mm -hmm. And then oh. and, and being open. So yes, this is this is I mean it's it's a, it's, it's it's a big picture, it's a complicated picture, but I think she failed to handle it correctly. And she failed to handle it correctly from what you can see and uh, head there. Um, <clears throat> let me do something different today. <clears throat> let me go uh Mkoma Benford. Mkoma Benford, I I'm sure you I'm sure you saw the interview, did you? Uh, no interview and dinner you wanna this week is not so I can't present. Uh, uh, what was asked and what she replied to. Uh, I only read, I think, from uh, articles and then sharing a few things, and there are a few things that I, you know, I picked from um, uh, the interview. But uh, I haven't had the opportunity to listen uh, to the interview. Uh, but uh, I, I, I can say from what I, 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 I was reading online, mm. uh, let me begin by saying it was a big mistake mm. uh, for her to, to go on hard talk. Uh, that was uh, it's a very big mistake uh, for the following reason. A party hour usually at a very uh, infant stage. I was at the Congress. I was at the solidify my policies hour and stuff like that. And uh, so by going on a talk, we got a sad talk. Um, it, it was very unlikely that she was going to 
uh, to, to, to bring any positive impact other than to expose yourself uh, which I'm told uh, even from what Mr. Febru was saying is exactly what happened uh, there are a few things that I picked from uh, one was on uh, indigenous law which she said uh, she's going to repeal that mm, mm. Uh, I'm also told she mentioned things like uh, they're going to compensate Yes, uh, yes. Oh, the white uh, farmers that uh, lost their farmers, yes. Yeah, yeah, yes. So, when you are, we told us to uh, you know, I, I think the idea was to please uh, the British, to please uh, Europeans, Americans, and stuff like that. But that is something that is not going to, uh, to, to win you elections yes. in Zimbabwe. Uh, because now ZANPF can simply tell all the ordinary people in Zimbabwe, this is what they are going to do. They are going to take the land back away from you. And that's uh, an obvious plus to them. And obviously, uh, they are going to lose the elections on that basis alone. Uh, it, it, let's be honest. The land reform, as chaotic as it was, is a done deal. You can't say you are going to reverse it and still expect to win elections in Zimbabwe. The indigenous laws, uh, as bad as they might appear, you can't say you're going to repeal that. Uh, you have to think in terms of uh, trying to amend and make those things better. And also, I heard you, she was emphasizing uh, that uh, all we want is uh, to bring back investors and stuff like that. Uh, I don't think that necessarily work. That is the same mistake you get when i at the beginning uh, 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 at Independence. They were saying they were concerned Nema Industries, uh, and they, they did not pay, you know, they didn't pay attention to land issues. We they only came back to 20 years later. So, to summarize, uh, DJ Soza, I think it was a big mistake. It did not help uh, Miami Juru and her political party at all. Mm, okay. uh, from, uh, from what I'm reading. <clears throat> from what you're reading. Thank you so much, Mkoma Benford. There. For those that are just tuning in, um, we, we are just uh, kind of uh, digesting what my Mujuri had to say uh, this past week, Wangawari uh, Kunoku United Kingdom, where she was invited by the BBC uh, to be interviewed on, on this uh, popular show called The Hard Talk, where guests are scrutinized, uh, basically. So when you go there, you have to do your researches before you go there, because those guys will ask you every single question. They will leave no stone unturned there. Uh, Sally, uh, you, you you must... Yes, Sorry? Sorry, yes, yes. I just wanted to tradition our listeners and the, our panelists put the, the full BBC hard talk is now on my YouTube channel. Oh, okay. So they can go and listen and, to it. And, and also another one, which is the conflict zone, which was even... Which was even worse than the BBC had talk. Uh -huh. <laughs> Both were in London. Okay. <laughs> also on my channel, yeah. Ah, okay. So for those on your that... channel, because then I can go listen to it. YouTube. Oh. If you just say just, yeah. just no, say, I know. If you just say, say BBC had talk and Elliot Febe, you will find it. Yeah, no. I want the conflict when I listen to the hard talk. Yeah, the uh, conflict one is to, yeah, you, if you just say Elliot Fever, then conflict is I not. know, I'm subscribed to your channel, Mr. Fever. Yeah, you'll find it. There. <laughs> okay, right. Okay, guys, let's not, let's not lose focus here. Let's not lose focus. For those yeah. that want to go, kind of, YouTube, yeah, Fever, or Facebook, yeah, we'll just get on with it and you, you find it there. Sally, you listen to it yourself. What did you make of it? I cried. I was so disappointed. Um, maybe because she was terribly nervous. Maybe because he... You see, what he does, that guy, okay, and, I mean, I've watched him for years. Okay? Mm. What he does is he picks on hard facts in, during that conversation and then he fires them at you. Pa, 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 pa. Okay? Because, and I'll tell you why he does that. Because if somebody is, I don't want to say lying, but avoiding confronting the truth, it will come out. It shows up. 
okay? And unfortunately, when he was doing that to her, she was at the weakest I have ever seen her. And I was, I was so, I was, I was hurt for her, okay? I really was. Um, what, 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 what? I always, I always feel hmm. that she has to be honest. She has to speak from her heart, okay, about her time in Zanukiev. And trying to excuse it isn't going to help, okay? Saying, ah, uh, she was doing projects and the people know her and all this kind of business. No, you can't do that. Yes, I was part of Zanu PF. Yes, I was trying, uh, I, I wanted to, to try and fix it from the inside. Yes, I stayed too long. Okay. Yes, things were done and me being part of that government. Okay, I am just as guilty and mm. I am sorry. Yes. That's all. That's all to every other question that he asked to do with Zanu PF. That's mm -hmm. all she had to say. And say it from the heart. And when that lady speaks from the heart, dang, she's good. Okay. She is really good. And to see her like that, I was I was hurt for her. I really, really I know you're okay, big I know you're a big I know you're a big supporter, Sally. And uh now, I'm, you look, were I'm from I'm an admirer. I'm an admirer. I can't support her one hundred and one percent like joining the party or anything like that because of the Zanu PF connection and she hasn't accepted uh, a responsibility for it and held herself accountable for it to the people, mm. okay? Mm. And what I said before, that's all she has to say. That's all she has to say. She doesn't have to give details. She doesn't have to give Mugabe's ins and outs and everything else. All she has to say, yes, I was, I was there. Yes, I tried from the inside. It didn't work. Yes, I stayed too, too long. Okay. And yes, I am on being part of that government. I am accountable. Uh -huh. okay. okay, for the things that went wrong. I am sorry. That's all. She That's doesn't cool. have to go into details and orangutans and everything else. Just that. Mm -hmm. That's all that people want. Okay, right. So, Sadi, okay. um, I'm going to ask you a question that I haven't asked the rest of the people. That uh, if, 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 if an election was to be conducted now, tomorrow, and hearing what my Mujuru was saying on that, would you cast your vote for her? You're putting me in a very bad situation. Yeah. My heart would say yes. Mm. Okay. But my head but would say... But would that be on merit? Would that be on merit? It would be on me knowing what kind of person she can be. And she has been... Okay, in other situations, all right? I have a lot of faith in her, all right? I really do. Uh, it's just that that hard talk came at the wrong time. And it wasn't right for her to do it then, okay? okay. It really wasn't. It was the, the completely wrong time. Right, okay. And uh, I really, I... I I pain for her, okay? Now, to do about the land thing, okay? The only thing that I heard from her was to compensate for improvements, not for the land, okay? So that business about, oh, it's going to compensate for the land, no. It was what was on the land, like the buildings, okay? 
implements, whatever that enti entails, okay? I mean, I don't know the, the fine details, but it was that part. Nothing to do with the land. Not going to give the land back, not going to compensate for the land, nothing. It was just for the, the, the improvements, okay? Because the guy turned around and said, oh, you mean, I think he used the word improvements. And she said, yes. So there was nothing to do with the land. Just the, what was on the land when the farms were taken, okay? okay. So that, that was what I heard about the land. Um, uh, but I, oh, my heart bleeds for her. It really yeah. does. Uh, okay. I, All, right. <laughs> All right, sorry. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm sure you saw it, and uh, you know, any words you want to say about it? What did you pick on that? Oh, like Mr. Pepe, I watched both versions. Okay. Uh, and I think uh, it was uh, a nightmarish experience for her. Uh, I think she came with the mentality from Zimbabwe that uh, a reporter must uh, respect the interview to an extent. Yes. That uh, he, she then lectures to the reporter. Unfortunately, the converse was the truth because the, the both interviewers were actually lecturing to her to a, with the evidence of uh, documented uh, facts about what happened. And that was taking a little bit to the discomfort zone every time it was mentioned. Because the things, some of the things they were mentioning were quite emotional like uh, the death of her husband mm. like the like the the, the, the uh, praise that she uh, pours on Mugabe as a uh, fatherly figure mm. you know, these things these things are not comfortable to talk about uh, for anyone to be associated with Mugabe when you are saying I am opposing him <laughs> you know it's it's hard but then, uh, as Sally, as we uh, succinctly put it, uh, the idea of a you novice know, coming face to face with a hard talk interviewer or a, a conflict zone interviewer is to uh, outflank them and uh, come with the open and uh, take a frontal attack rather than a guerrilla attack. If you take a frontal attack and say, look, I know you are going to ask me about A, B, C, D. And I know you want honest answers about these things. These things happened. They are not imaginary. They happened under my tutelage. Because I was working within a group of a people with an ideology that had been formed by and hardened by a years of extended colonialism and deprivation. So, up to now, I don't know why I could not realize that whatever we were doing was actually affecting my people negatively. <laughs> and that negativity is now tarnished my good name and I want to put it right. Aha. If she had opened like that, if she had gone on a frontal attack like that, uh -huh. I am sure she would have unsettled the, the, the interviewers. They would have had to find another place to look for questions. Uh -huh. But uh, Sekuru, Sekuru, sorry, I'm thinking of the Kangana, but Sekuru, I don't know. You know politics more than I do. Now, I'm there. And, I mean, you 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 telling me that someone who is going to run for office doesn't have some advisors around them to actually sit down with them listen you are going to such an interview these are likely to be the questions because i'm told even football managers i know Seguru, you follow us now yourself i'm told even people like us and venga are briefed before they go into these uh you know um into these conferences could listen and interviews listen such questions, these these questions are, are going to come. And if such question comes, 
anti makadai anti makadai anti makadai does she have such people around like that around her oh oh she has she has a, a plenty of them and she was totally totally briefed she was she was so well briefed uh, by her party and mm. her advisors but uh, unfortunately the the way Here as a woman uh -huh. and a dictatorial uh, manager at the at the top with the with the powers to decree and the executive powers to do what he wanted to do without reference to anybody. But then that is inadequate because when you say you are a deputy of a, a dictator, you then are a stooge. That's what you do. That's what you do when you are faced with the interview uh, interviewers of that nature. Because when you state that you were listening to decrees, then you were of no relevance to the political situation. How can you be relevant now when you couldn't be relevant over 37 years? Mm. Now, this is the way the problem is. She was properly advised. She was, she was very sure-footed about what she was saying. But she didn't re realize that it was projecting very badly on the targeted voters. I think DJ Sozaga, I can I can concern as a Kuruga. What happened is in politics, uh, we say you're as good as the people who advise you. Mm. The obviously look at the people in the in, in in position in her party these are the very people who came from Zarukiev. so her mentality is their mentality and, and and this is actually the best that they can come up with in terms of advising her and i think we are saying this this is not the first time that she a Zimbabwean politician has gone on hard talk. Morgan Changra has been on hard talk, not once, several times. And you know, we didn't have to sit here and uh, trying to, you know, to, to to sort of forensically trying to say, you know, this was wrong and this was wrong. Because he is outside the box of Zanpia. And the advisors of Changra are outside the box of Zanpia, ideologically physically and socially and culturally. So this is where we are having this problem. So it, it also gives an idea in terms of the Zimbabwean voters to say, yes, as we go to the 2018 elections, what matters? Is it, is it, the, the, is it the new party cropping up with no ideological basis, with no policies that appeals with people untested? Or is the call for a united front of opposition parties against, rallying against a, a, a strong candidate proven who has got that charisma. This is where we are. Uh-huh. Okay. Right. No, also, you've got to, you've got to remember <laughs> something. Okay? You see, when she was asking about uh, joining forces with John Gray, she could have been unequal vocal about it and say, look, this man has been in the trenches for decades. This man is it all. And this man represents my new thinking. So why should I have any hesitation joining hands with him? Instead, she went to say, with any board of similar views, now, which similar uh, views now was she talking about? The, the views that uh, that way pro Zanu. This is this is how damaging this interview was because if she had honestly admitted that uh, she is learning from the opposition, in as much as she had learned from the ruling party, she's now learning from the opposition and was willing to continue learning to mod to modify her thinking. To, 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 to perfect her skills as a Democrat, then I think she would have won the, the, the argument. But in this particular instance, I'm sorry to say this, 
she didn't win the argument. She, 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 she put herself in a very difficult position, particularly, particularly with the, uh, the more literacy of our voters. They, those are, I'm sure the majority will say, no, we can't vote for a person like this. Now, what she, did, she also did uh, uh, unconsciously is to promote the brand uh, MDCT and the, its leader. Because when she was asked to acknowledge, she refused to acknowledge, trying to generalize it. That, that in its own made a pain rather than a, a, a pro-democracy a leader. So uh, to sum it up, I think, I think uh, Madam Juru tried very hard to distance herself from Mugabe without succeeding because she had not done what was supposed to be done, which is to acknowledge that she was part in the parcel of the executive orders that Mugabe issued. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Right. Uh, <coughs> listen, guys, I'm going to talk a little bit, but Sally, you were desperate to chip in there before we go there. Yeah, now I just wanted to say it. the hard fact of everything is she, uh, the way that she uh, w was was the way she conducted herself unfortunately was typical zanu pf avoid and deflect avoid and deflect okay and that is exactly what she did if you had put mutasa there and the the hard talk guy nye, 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 and he brought up the zanu pf business and everything exactly the same thing it's avoid and deflect, okay? And that, unfortunately, is what she still carries with her. And the people that are, are around her must really tell her to work on getting rid of that because it's, it's not a good thing. It really isn't. Okay, I, I, I'm sure. I'm sure. Thank you so much, Sally, for that. I'm sure uh, that's what uh, Rapebe was alluding to when he said that. Yes. You see, you look at the thinking and the way she answered. It's a Zanuish uh, way of yes. of dealing yes. with things, and you cannot blame her for that because she came no. out of Zanu PF with the Zanu mentality, with the Zanu people are surrounding her. What maybe possibly she need to do is to find someone outside of those circles. So that you can have a different thinking mentality, and she can be advised to dis to um, to distance herself from that kind of thinking. Anyway, thank you so much, Sally, for that. Mukoma will be there. Sorry for keeping you waiting. I know you want to say something about this. You you were listening, and you heard what she had to say. Oh, I did. I did. I also listened to the uh, conflict zone. Mm. I I, th I I think the 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 the, the big issue here is. Like what we say in Shona, uh -huh. you know, and and probably the, the the nearest equivalent of that is the English uh, version of uh, it is better to keep your mouth shut and be assumed a fool than open it and remove all doubt of it. Hmm. My Mujuru, if you look at her career for 30, for the thirty four years she was in power, she hardly said anything. She hardly said anything. And that has been to a benefit. People assumed, why is she not saying anything? And, 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 and when she finally was forced to open her mouth, ever since she was kicked out of Zanopia, she has had to finally open her mouth. And every time she has opened her mouth, I think she has put her foot into it. And this interview has put that beyond doubt. I think people people are forgetting here that people like uh, Stephen Sucker, when they call you for an interview like that, they would have also done their own research. One of the issues, I'll pick one issue, the Gukura Wundi one. My Mujuru, when she was first asked uh, in 2014, when she was kicked out of Sanopia, on this very issue, one of the first things she said is she didn't know that it was happening. So it was that was what she started with. You started by denying it that it didn't happen. How could you not know something that that is happening? 
that, that has been happening in the country, resulting in the death of 20,000 people. Then she, in the, in the, in she, she de- then changed her mind and said she did know, but it was collective responsibility in the cabinet. And then she tried to wriggle out of it and say, ah, but it wasn't, I, there was nothing I could do because this was an executive order. You as government are responsible for the uh, safety of not of the entire population, not from just the regular army, if they are the ones committing the crime, but even uh, dissidents, if they are the ones responsible for it. And even if there is a, 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 this fifth brigade, which is uh, separate from the main army, subject to executive powers from somebody else, whoever it is, as government, they are responsible for the safety of everyone. So to say there was nothing she could do because it was an executive order was again a failure. And unfortunately, these, some of these things, even if she tried to, 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 to deny them, she could not. And this is what caught her up. This is the reality catching up with her. And, and to, to, I mean, this issue went on. Uh, there's no way she could deny responsibility for it. There's no way she could continue to pretend that she, wasn't, she didn't know anything about it. Then she, she was making the mistake of saying, oh, uh, I forgive Mugabe for, for what happened in Kukura Wundi, and we want to move on. And that was again another mistake. Iwewe, as, as a politician, you were part of that regime that was responsible for it. She benefited from the dictatorship. And then she's the one who's standing around now and saying, I'm forgiving. Who are you to forgive? You are not the victim. You are the benef- you, you are the one who benefited from it. And now you turn around and be so patronizing to say, I forgive Mugabe. Who are you to forgive Mugabe? So she made one blunder after another. And mm-hmm. I think it got to the point where Stephen Saka had to ask it, the Joyce Mujuru, if you are so ignorant of what happened in Zimbabwe, what use are you to the country? And that is the crux of the matter. Maya Mujuru, can, it doesn't matter how much she tries to, 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 to change her image, and even if she gets the best PR and uh, spin doctors, she cannot deny the fact that she was responsible for the government's economic, the Zimbabwe economy's co- complete collapse, and also for the, all the tyranny and, and murders that took place. To, for her to pretend she can rebuild. Why didn't you do it when you were in government? You were there for 34 years. That is the reality that she has got to face. And I think, honestly, that many Zimbabweans, and I agree, I think it was Sekuru or, or Peve who say that many Zimbabweans, after seeing that interview, will say to themselves, well, if they hadn't thought about it, they would definitely think about it now. How mm. can we elect somebody like that? To be president there's no way right. and i think the beauty of of that interview mm. emphasizes the importance of a free press once you have got somebody like that and you have got a free press even if it was in zimbabwe if we had this kind of discussion in zimbabwe uh, and we have heard it all along people like my mujuru would have never had the guts to put their name forward in the head for elections. Because there is no way you can cover up all the bad things that she has, she has done over the years. She has been defending this dictatorship for all these years. She cannot pretend what she didn't know. That is the reality. Hmm. Okay. Uh, thank you so much, Mukoma Wulpet. I might come back to you shortly there. It's uh, seven minutes before 11. Uh, seven minutes before we go to commercial break. Second, uh, over Mukanya Mukanya, which is what Tauru Mukanya Maskatwa Mur. DJ Mudigo. A two months wife, I can never say some Kanya Pussy. Eh, do you do Maya Maya again? Ningo Pins, I put in Chava barring seven minutes. Okay. Um, I think I'll be surprised if we'll be still talking about my Juru next six months. It's a done deal. Oh, you're joking, Mukai? No, I'm not joking. <laughs> it's a done deal. Um, Panatas Wakuti Joyce Mujuru was coming on the hard talk. I telephoned about 
uh, 15 to 20 Zimbabweans of my friends here. Mm. And then after the interview, they all came back with the same. And Sandra Gambona and Giri opinion poll, you know, it's a 20 out of 20. So the thing is, number one, where it's hurt most is she is very, very. I don't know what I can say about her feelings about the Matebelerian people. That's very patronizing to deny the obvious, which even Mugabe does not deny. Mugabe said those were the terrible times. That was the darkest part of our history. That's according to Mugabe himself when he was addressing the Zimbabweans at the Komosi Splendor Home, which Mugabe acknowledges. That was the darkest part of our country. And today she comes and tries to deny it. Joyce Mujuru was in Mozambique, in, in Zambia, earlier on, even before Mugabe went there, in the 1974. These were the people who were making decisions in Zanu PF and Zanla. Ian Murmoa Kenana Josiah Togoga. Her husband being a, a, a commander of the army. This is a joke. I've never seen uh, such a, uh, I don't know, but she's very dumb. Uh, I'm sorry to say that because she has no political anything in her. I think she was good to be quiet. She would have re uh, uh, retained her uh, uh, respect. I, I've never had to call anybody 20 out of 20 Zimbabweans of different political persuasion, including those people who wanted to give you a chance. And I don't know who's going to vote for this woman. Mm. As far as I'm concerned, it's a, de it's a done deal. A pass is seen. But not going to end as It's fine. This so, is not even Zanupi. Mukanya, apart, apart, from, apart from the Gukura Wundi question, were there other questions there that you picked out that she failed this, Mariona? Uh, DJ Sosa, if you cannot protect your own people and uh, do not know mm -hmm. then you must be a useless leader. All the questions are useless. She was talking about uh, uh, trying to recolonize, could Zimbabwe to be recolonized. This woman is going to sell Zimbabwe to everybody. And we are going to get nothing. Because she is not even smart enough to confront the people whom she... she uh, Zimbabwe will be... I think uh, there will be no Zimbabwe if, if, if Juru gets there. He has no idea. The concept of indigenization is wrong. It's just the way it was implemented. The concept of land... Uh, uh, he herself, she went to the war chamber. And now she's whatever she's talking about. I don't know whether she she whatever she really. I I am sorry. This woman is finished, and I know uh, she should go. And 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 uh, not because again in She is talking about she only has one house in Harare. You believe that? And she's now coming to claim she only own one house in Arari. Bindura, they own the whole town. 90% BS city building, the Bindura, is owned by the Mujurus. 90%, the city, not the houses, city. Right. Okay. Uh, the, the, sorry, and the wind comes out with the end. Yes, so. Okay. Right. Uh, Janda with a panapa, Maria Zimbabwe, so regretting Bo, Pigam, Toro, a to Fambi and Berini Chirongua. Right. Uh, I'm, I'm very sorry, uh, Kunasekuru, Papeve, Sally, Mkoma Benford, uh, and Mkoma Wilbit. What I want you to do is to drop your phones down. Mondi Fonera foot back. Because I want to try and take you a moyo as well here. But it looks like I have to take one moyo first before I take everyone else. I cannot join one moyo in. I learned that last week. 
but I really want to, 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 to I want to use okay, his, okay. yes, we are down. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> You want to send money to Zimbabwe? Well, your bank is here at no cost to you. That's right. No cost at all for you to transfer money to anyone in Zimbabwe. All transactions are in US dollars delivered within 24 hours. No but nuts. For more information, please contact Dr. Pima Sender at 469-348-8895 or Dr. Peter Ruinger at 574-315-5080. Remember, no transfer cost to you, no bond notes, and delivered within 24 hours. Ladies and gentlemen, Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. You are li li listening to <laughs> DJ Soza live, 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 live on Simnet Radio. This is a Thursday, and you know what that means. It's a men's corner show with yours truly, DJ Sodza.
Sydney and those of Sydney Itaka, uh, we try, I personally try my level best to try and incorporate everyone on the show. Uh, Amoyo, I think you've got problem with your uh, lines there, so unfortunately, uh, we, we cannot uh, add you to the um, conversation today. Uh, it's unfortunate actually because uh, we wanted to hear from you, but anyway. Uh, during that break, I've managed to get hold of um, Koma Teach. Uh, so that maybe, you know, maybe we are not fair here. Uh, he's in the party there, so maybe he can shed a light on uh, what was the thinking uh, for what my Juru had to say um, on uh, Hard Talk. Uh, so he's saying that he needs two minutes uh, to, 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 to polish himself up and comes in. Uh, let me just see if I can get his uh, call now. Teens go good tea. Because maybe he has got a different version to what other people are actually saying here. Uh, right. 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 I'm sorry I'm disturbing you there. I understand you're very busy out there. Um. Hello? Hello? Yes, uh, and Andrew Kutika, uh, my apologies. I, I hate to hunt you down. Ah, uh, Mandiwana. Yana Trump is a Nenda Uya. I have a Panama Trump. Gini Musuguru and Adam is a good thing. Magao, Maga advisor, my mood would write a secret with me. Panya Yako Seguru. He had to talk Nepa, Nigiri Nepa, Nepa, Nigiri Conflict zone. A conflict zone. Could you go to Gan, Torem Chichi Jigesa? Okay. But I don't know what you would teach. My answers are a kanga, a cheaper, Nesa kanga, a cheap, who was a cheap. I die, Rikuti, who I die, a chita sees, who took a good to a wife and a quad to meet us in Ragashi, cinema fix. Ah, the other one is defensive mode. Yeah, the guy who is not going to die. Yeah. Am I a juror? Joy is the only one who is not a juror. The guy who is not a juror is the only one who is not a juror. The guy who is not a juror is the only one who is not a juror. The guy who is not a juror is the only one Saka chirungu chavo chava nuta ora ndi chow 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 ku village kwa waka pa nukuti pa waka enda kuhondo Wanga wasa tu watu mbobuda kana mudo tito macho Shwe kufana ni zane suwa tumbe ya pati wose kugona kuta ora kwa tine ita chirumbiji Mae mujuru waka enda kuhondo wa ene 18 years Waka noru wa hondo ya wa chita ora sesha wa nungo ita isho shu Wakadiwa na komanda wewe wondo yuko kwa shita ora sesha wano itasa isho shu Wakato sumu za wondo wakato taka ino the women's wing wakata the highest female commander Mwondo wa shita ora chirungu jawa sesha wano ita isho shu Mkoma tichi Wakato notu Mira hindi pezi se Wakato notu zoka ku wondo yuko koko Wachingota ora sesha wano ita isho shu Wakata minister wachingota ora sesha wano ita isho shu Waka chinja mitemo ye universal suffrage ni mwere matrimonial causes act. Vashingote wa rachirungu jawa sesha wani ite shosho. Vapeze jo waka tzekira kushikuru, waka peza form 4, waka peza form 6, waka tura degree re bachelors, waka tura re master, waka tura re PhD. Vashingote wa rachirungu jawa ni ite shosho. Doma tauriro aneita mai mjuru. Arula kutra kakutra mai mjuru wa ite mwe elo kwe tizana mkabe iti. Kano tamae mjuru warambe wa shi defenda kutichicha hiti kamuzani. I think waka tota na gura shaka kwa. Jume shaka singa kwa ni kutaura. Ino turi strategy NPP. Ino zofo muka pakota how to we counter. Anonzi ma agenda setting narratives. Eza no PF. Na mkoma tichi ni nindi anu kupinda pakuti. I don't think anyone is questioning eloquency and English or whatever. People were just intrigued about some of the answering of the questions. 
Nakuti kwa ndiri ndozwa sawa nda wakemu kuchiru kufunda shwe kuti wano tawara chiru mchipi nda Ayu Nakata shika pavari pavari shita wana kuchiru mchocho Ayu wana wana kuti wana kukutikana ni, ni, ni minduro ya waka hapa Pa waka bunzwa kuti wa, Pa waka ti wano rekirela wamu gabe Waka nzi iwe unu rekirela wamu gabe Sei iwewe u, waka nga uri imo Imo umo mwana wamu gabe Have you Why have you got the guts kuti ure gerele mwana Erega indi pindi ure ipa pa mkuma sunza Musina kuti wana Okay. Na orega inungo cheke za ndishidai Amai mjuru is bound for life by the official secrets act Kana wa shito taura nye ya zime ziri sensitive za wano vundwa Wano fani rogu ita inonzi bite he tongue Nekuti wano kona kutushkura mtimu Jimwe che tene makuro kote urumende wakambo senza mkabineti ya urumende Bano to rebound by the cabinet's official secrets act. So good can have a shit or a can I chimes and nana na changira is an abita. Mukada wound that I find myself my demons and my shot now, but I want to tell them great chicken cavarim cut. Pony shin is known in my cabinet minutes. I'm such mambo I be ring up newspaper. There is a reason why the world over there is that kind of protocol because it's to do with the integrity of the state. Ma'am Jiri may be an opposition leader, but she is still the former vice president entrusted with national secrets of this country. So when she speaks, she speaks within the confines of as much as she possibly can divulge without incriminating herself. And as it is right now, Zanbebe, ya kato mirira, kutirango kanda pasiripo, Bamba baba tindo pata mwa nila na uti shule corruption waka shaira pash. So this is the fact ya mno farongo but Mme Juru does not have to answer to please anyone. She has to answer to the best of what the situation demands of her at that particular moment in time. As for her asking wa maguti aiwa inindo zaidi taka kanga ni zaidi rumuzani pia au tiri muru me au taka nono kaku shinura. I think she has eloquently said that on so many occasions, every time she gets to a public, it may not be enough for those that will never join her anyway. So we will concentrate on those that want to understand so they can join. But if you have a good question, you will have a good question. Ah, okay. Ah, you are. Eh, pakanaka chose. Eh, I know I'm going to see a lot of people got questions for you, but listen, that are going to die to Wamoyo. Wamoyo, Maswira, say go. I got a muka. Maswira, say go. Ah, Taswira, say go. So, Wamoyo, were you impressed in this Shakata or when I'm in Jurupa, hard talk? Ah, for me, no, but there was nothing new. Uh, remember, <coughs> right on the very first shot, she told me that my major was from Batorawo. If you remember well what I said, uh, it's exactly the same thing that I will say again today. That in my view, I don't hate you. Uh, uh, teach to the other day was saying, I know you hate my major. I don't hate you. I don't hate Changre. I don't hate anybody. Uh, and as always is the case, I only say things as they are. Uh, remember, right at the beginning, I said, uh, Maimu Juru is not a leader. She is a follower. And uh, even in Zano, she was not leading anything. She was a follower. She was a praise singer. And she benefited from that. Even the formation of the Zim uh, people first, she did not form it. She was invited to come and join. Remember, it took quite a while. Because 
Arun's in the leader. She never said the word, she never came out, she never did anything. When she was being invited, we all joined it. No baggers, we are not just a joiner. I join now, Daru, I'm going to get a gare, Yagavazo, Parara, Zingano, Zingano, and I'm like, she has to join Morgan Changirai now because on her own she cannot stand. Now, well, uh, Mkomati is trying to tell us of the Official Secrets Act. If that is the impediment in her, in her answers, she says everybody the world over know. Everybody knows the Official Secrets Act. She can actually tell you this one I cannot answer because of this reason. It's, uh, it's acceptable, it's known. You know, there are certain things that do not even need Official Secrets Act, including when it comes to family affairs. I wish she was answering questions concerning family affairs. She tried to uh, distance herself from the three farms. She admitted that there were three farms. She accepted. She, she accepted. Okay, no. She accepted. But, 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 I mean, there's no point for me to listen to someone who wants to say what he wants to say as though he's a member of the Mjuru family. Okay. I can understand the critique. Okay, good. Ah, that's the lead, etc. That's fine. Okay, okay, right. I think I, I think I to pay the go. I am going to stay in that nonsense. No, 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 no. Nothing is nonsense. Come, come, teach. But I'm not going to. Come, teach. A question is coming here. Is denial of Gukura Wundi part of sworn secrecy from the government and Zanu PF? That's a question coming. Chekutanga Gukura Wundi was a military operation officially covered in terms of all those aspects as to how the decision was arrived at. And I will tell you at that particular time, the Joint Operations Command was laden with the former Rhodesian CIOs and the former Rhodesian Army, including a General Hickman. So if people know these things, they wouldn't even be asking me. What I'm hearing is total ignorance of what was happening in the early years of our independence. The guerrillas were not in charge. The Zimbabwe National Army was at formation stage. The people that retained the command were people like General McLean, General Hickman, and General Peter Walls were still there. So what if you don't understand what transition from taking over the security apparatus of Rhodesia that was anti-liberation to liberation movements taking control, then people don't know what they're doing. Okay. When there were riots and fights in Konemara, and in Tumbane and in Chitungwiza. The white Rhodesian Air Force piloted by Rhodesian pilots are the ones that came to cause the ceasefire when Zala and Zipra were rising against each other for whatever reason they were doing. It was not Rodi it was not Zimbabwean forces, but they were not ready. They were still fighting each other. That's what you need to understand. The operations of Gukura Wundi were coordinated by the Prime Minister Manangagwa and the Rhodesian command. This is the simple truth. Okay, thank you. Uh, uh, right, but uh, I, I don't think I don't think it's fair. I don't think it's fair. Would the uh, teacher would actually interject and cause a cessation to my own uh, to my contribution on the basis of that he feels it is. Now, I mean, I'm answering specific questions else. right now. I've been asked about Gukura only responses. Yeah, yeah, yeah I was explaining. talking. So no, I'm not no, gonna no, listen actually... to me. Listen to I don't wanna waste my time li listening to your narrative. I just came here to no, answer no, no. questions about yeah, what I'm I'm here to, to answer. Yeah, I am here Ask to put across questions. my narrative just like anyone else has been doing. Okay. No, in, 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 let me put it clearly. I'm not gonna <laughs> listen to Moyo ranting and raving uh, in his monogola uh, uh, that's not what I'm gonna do. Monologue I can guide Ray Coco. I've uh, okay. you've called me to answer questions to my juru. Ask me questions and I'll answer. Okay, right. Mukoma moyo, mune mvunzo ere, mune mvunzo ere, mukoma moyo, mukoma moyo. Okay, I've, I've had to, I've had to ask mukoma tichu to how you answer some of the questions. And I know uh, all the people on the panel had questions for mm -hmm. me, but it was just because you mean mango pindao and you had to say something. But meanwhile, have you got a question for teach uh, in regards to the interview that was conducted? Okay. Yes, uh, no, uh, the, the questions are uh, the, uh, the same one, which is two pronged. In the first place, it, con it, it, it is to do with her family, which has nothing to do with the official secrets. Okay. Let's have the question. Let's have the question. Yes, yes. The, the, yeah, the question is when she was asking about the farms, she 
confirmed about the three farms. And then she acknowledged having one. And then she said the other two were family farms. They were family owned. Uh, which family was she referring to if she was the wife? And now the heir to whatever was left when the husband died. She is now the heir. And then she, okay. if she tried to distance herself from the other two, and no, then owning one, which let, let family, me, let, let and me then the, the, I said it's yeah. a two prong. Let me just okay. ask you, and then you must answer yes. She was okay. also asked about the involvement of my diamonds, Eva Nalake, Ne Mkwashawake. The same yeah. allegations that were once made by Grace, and these ones were also uh, asked. This guy actually depended so, evidence yeah. from What's the people who were involved. Down. Let's move on. The guys. question is, what, to what extent, because, uh, he, 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 I mean, vis-a-vis uh, -vis the evidence that this guy was putting no, across, no, no. the company that was involved, so that what was her involvement with the diamond? Okay, so your two questions are about farm ownership and diamonds. Yes. That's the question. Whether well, I don't want to go into another Razmatas monologue. Yeah, you can call it Razmatas, but just answer, and then you yeah. call it later. Let me, <laughs> let, let me go to the farm first. In the early 80s, going through to the late 80s, the Mjurus got themselves a farm they bought in Irua. They still own that land. It's not a farm, but a plot. That is the first place they went to live on. They were actually living on that plot in Rua. Anyone who knows the history of the Mjurus is that they had very fierce dogs that once attacked someone and killed him who were trespassing on the farm. That's how a lot of people got to really know about that particular farm that they owned. They didn't live in Borodele at that time. They lived in Rua and commuted into town and to KG6. So that is a plot. It's not a farm. And it's not part of the land reform. Now, the other farm is the farm that they bought through Kestrel together with James Makamba when General Mujuru went into, part, into business partnership with James Makamba. It was not part of the land reform. When she said she never applied for land she was talking about the fast track land reform because she didn't. Her husband did, and the all generals did. He was a beneficiary of the land reform for only one farm, Rosambo Farm. There is no other farm. Even when you saw the will of of uh, General Mujuru being read, there's no other farm that is mentioned except Rosambo Farm in Beatrice, where she now lives herself. And that's why she talks about it as being an heir because she inherited the full title from her husband and it's still on government leasehold right okay um uh sekuru you please fire questions to teach there about the interview what you didn't understand or you want to, him to clarify one of the or two things that my Juru said on that uh, interview Mukoma teach is saying that she did fabulous on that interview absolutely <laughs> Uh, that, that, that's a very, very good question. Zegu. Pani panda sira pa ma diamond za mkoma moyo reka ndi pa pezi zene kurumizi. Ok. Mkoma moyo ndi andaku sira ya apologize on that one. E, ku, ku, kwa chiyadwa, mai mjuri as she did, waka initiate an irrigation system ikoko and the one right at in doji ruo chedu as ma diamonds we topical wana jimaina ma diamonds ku irrigation scheme ko kokaindi ku churu cha mai mujuru mai mujuru never mind diamonds at chiazwa she had an irrigation system within the confines of that area and the people there always jokingly called it churu cha mai mujuru not ku cha churu churu cha ma diamonds she never mind diamonds there she never has a claim there we are more than welcome to go to the mines commissioner in Manikaland, who is the holder of all registered of state uh, allocated claims or exclusive 
prospecting orders called EPOs. So if you know anything at all about the administration of mining in Zimbabwe, it's so easy to find out if Mamjuru or any of her named companies through her husband owned. Mamjuru and her husband, or through her husband, not herself directly, had a share in a river ranch diamond mine long before indigenization and all this in Bait Bridge. That's the only time that the Mjurus or through Solomon had anything to do with diamond was through a river ranch diamond mine in Bait Bridge, not in Ichiadza. You can look this up, it's available freely on Google, Pindula and others that are encyclopedic. It's available. And you can also look at the Matebelele and South Mines Commissioner Register on state allocated exclusive prospecting orders. It's there in the public domain. Aha. Uh-huh. Yeah, what and, is also in the public uh, domain? Uh, no, 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 no. The interview uh, itself. Uh, oh, oh, I'm, only, I'm not going to entertain that. I just want to hear the question. Seguru, let me answer your question. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that I don't think she can ever answer that in, 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 unless she, can, she gets into power. Because right now you are making a very, very serious allegation which she can never afford to make, to say specifically Mgabe made at my husband. She says he expects he would know because he's the better informed person and Juru being himself, everyone would know where he was because his farm was guarded by state uh, agents and police officers. So all she has said is that the government should know something about who killed their husband. She has not made any specific allegations against Mugabe. She can't make those uh, kind of allegations. It's, it, it will be the most reckless statement she can ever make without facing a serious situation whereby she can actually be sued or be arrested for alleging that the president has indulged in extrajudiciary killings uh, without the evidence to back it up. So she Correct. can't answer that. Correct. I understand that. From yeah. that point of view, I understand that. But so that's what why you, what I, 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 that one of one of the things I'm asking, kind of the many ads of Vunds. No, in you know what I'm trying to ask is, Paga Vunds, why did you continue to save Anna Mugabe? He has no good vision. Apa Murumo Alfa, Alfa, why did you? Could she have said something other than could you know in the interim system Yagaji Dilanema executive orders? And then Daka go to the Rabutima executive orders, Shata or Goma President, which to the Rashur. I don't know, could he continue saving would be a result of executive orders, a good party. What we know is that there are a lot of things that were done as a result of executive orders and then parliament is asked to rubber stamp them. But uh, I don't think if it continued to stay in government has anything to do with that. But to answer your question as to why she continues to say, when General Mjuru died, all apparatus of the state showed great contrition and regret and everyone uh, went and cried with her. They went to the farm, they went to the Hero's Acre, they went to her house. The president and his wife were the first people that were always... Look at any of the pictures uh, following the death of Solomon Juri. You will see the president and his wife were the ones that were with her. Even when she was crying, Grace Mugabe was the one who was uh, calming her and comforting her. So you cannot then just jump to any conclusions again, as I said, without any uh, evidence. But you may have your suspicions, but you didn't retire on the basis of suspicion and then not be able to say, ah, Magandura era Murumong. She can't say no, that. Like, no, teacher, I, I think we are, I, I think in Dongan, this is what we are saying. And then all I'm saying is, could yeah. she not have answered it in a different way than to say, yes, she believed, because Nima Customs, we have executive power. Yeah. Couldn't yeah. she have said, couldn't she have said, for example, 
ini ni semua dah ganggak ah ile kiwa utafa express do i competition to save the nation but yeah. i was not safe the nation because nangandi sina power yake kwa safe that is the reason why ndaka buda well i know buda ka dzingwa se if I whatever if, whatever i am I'm, I'm just I, this is not the wording that i wanted to use to use uh, yeah. I'm, so, so, i'm just trying to see kuti zvanga make a, a bit of more sense than kuti angoti i was executive order no kuda kwema customs no nene ma customs ano sunga vakadzi kuti vadiri varume rega ndingo bvumirana ne miss i think you are saying it is a, she didn't come out right or it didn't sound right when whatever she said Yeah. Point to report like I said, when her husband died, everyone showed support. And her okay. position seemed secure. And you must remember that at that time she was anointed as the successor. Where she was the yeah. only sole vice president in Mugabe decided against appointing Kaya Moyo as the vice president from the Zapu side after yeah. the death of John Nkomo. So it's, it, it was a very difficult situation whereby someone who spent a life in politics and career to just jump ship when she was on the verge of clinching the ultimate. So I think personally that's my observation. But yes, as you said, maybe as as this question is going to be arising all the time, I'm sure right now she's getting the kind of advice that you are talking about that maybe she may frame her answer maybe slightly more differently in, in, in terms of how she distances herself. Okay. Not all right, guys. Manje was only David Zamanje ni mzukuru wa Budo za ndango kuza chete. Oh okay. Regarding this kuna vape be you want to ask a question please. Uh, yes eh uh, uh, teach you how, how are you teach? I'm very well my big brother how are you? <laughs> no I'm okay. Var ku pasa irevana. <laughs> yeah, like from an African perspective, is <laughs> My apology, ndambo apologize ku chirongo. My 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 contribution is one, I think I know you alluded to Tsangrai being bounded by official secret act. Yes. To I I would like to to respond to that representing President Morgan Tsangrai for MDC. Yes, sir. That the MDC President Morgan Tsangrai yeah. will always be very open with the people of Zimbabwe. Yes. And this is why there is no secret that Morgan Tsangrai is harboring from the people of Zimbabwe. Because yeah. if it's the government of national unity, Roy Aka people was a bit marginalized. And this is why there was a friction and fighting. That's true. Yeah. So in a, in, a, in a way we have the, the, the president of nothing to hide and uh, and I do I do understand and I agree with you that uh, depending on the role that uh, one might have served in the government. Yeah. But uh, I think uh, first and foremost what need to be done is uh, to to accept that uh, maybe some of these interviews could have could have gone in a better way mm. uh, and i think we, we 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 all make mistakes i do understand that these people man you we are talking of uh, my reporters uh, who once they represented the imperialists <laughs> it's true Yes. Even up to now, I'm coming to be there. Still pushing their own agenda. Do you say is that the politicians need to come and go straight and go clear? Of course. I mean, they, you are not, you know, you are not invited to the hard talk to, to, to you know, to prop you up. No, it's for them to analyze. And the people must understand that. Yeah. But I think, I think at the moment you start, you, you, you are in self denial. Yeah. Then of course you open a lot of things. What I think uh, our sister Joyce Mujuri should to say is to say yes, you listen to hard talk. Yes, yeah. you listen to conflict zone. But look, those people they invited me. They had the questions. <coughs> they had the research. 
<laughs> right? Yeah. And the, the question that I put in across were my best question given the scenario that I was presented with. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And I think he, sometimes you have to be very frank so that he, at the end of the day, you don't prolong this analytic and the critique by people who have been listening through the videos. Yes. She has, the, opportunity. Yeah. she has the opportunity to turn around the leaf. Let, let, let me agree with you on that. Yeah. Uh, but I also want to qualify my agreeing with you. Uh, offline because you and I are in alliance and the things that you may not know that you may need to know. And uh, Nini, when I come on radio at the moment, if I have to talk about uh, uh, National People's Party, I have to speak in general terms, not in specific terms. Oh, because some of the things I may have to say would be counter strategy, and I'm not allowed to say anything of that nature. Yeah, yeah. But uh, what I will tell you is that uh, uh, my Mujiri, as I said, her diction is not going to change from the rural village girl that she's always been. She's achieved everything that she is today just being that typical rural village girl without any sort of airs, etc. And when she is being cagey, as I said, there are things that bind her sometimes uh, when a question of that nature suddenly arises. But these questions now, I can say this quite openly, is that they fall now within the our strategic committee into the frequently asked the questions bracket. And you shall soon see a very consistent line of answering them. Uh, so that they are dispensed off. So that's brilliant. That yeah. So so that is what you will see. So yeah. in terms of uh, a, a, a responding to any agenda setting, because I will tell you one thing that is clear to me: all oh, the people making the shrill noises, you think they are sympathetic for Dr. Mjuru? No, they are taking it as an opportunity to hammer. These are people that are completely anti her. And the Susungua the ultimate hit music station, Simnet Radio, blending the hottest audio. They are the same people that are completely anti Joyce Mijuru. They are the same people that are misogynic in terms of their anti women leaders. They are the same people that are geronocratic, Yakatarwane, Namalema, but no doubt Arab, but Rambi Digitonga, Kusawe, so these people will never have a kind word for Dr. Mjuru, ever. We don't expect it, and we're not going to entertain it either. I think what... Yeah. I, I, was, I was just going to close it up to say, I think he... Patawa Panapa, what the people... is badly need is, is, is a... Is a a coalition of politicians that add value to the change. Yes. Uh, and, the, you know, these other semantics, they can come later. Yes. But we are saying, what is it that makes us, you know, win the elections and remove that of here, in a way? And, yes. and, and, it, and it does not necessarily take eloquence. No, no, far from it. Eloquence has put us actually, in, the, actually, in the bottom it, rank. It actually, actually takes somebody who, you know, m massive mobilizations of people coming to, silently coming to the ballot box. Tanyura ni eloquence mkoma. Point report, you know, in terms of the coalition framing of the MOU, uh, uh, MPP is going to be mostly concentrating in diminishing the Zanubi of Rome, but I can say this open is not a secret. Uh, the, the, the diminishing of the Zanubi of Rural vote is a target that NPP has already established itself very well. As you could see, our rural rallies were very well attended, I would say quite significantly. So that is what is important. We haven't concentrated in urban areas yet. We have really concentrated in rural areas, and when we've got to urban, it was mostly provincial rallies of the same people of the districts coming to that center. So as it is right now, I think the value of NPP, other than the fact that uh, we have guerrillas in terms of our Freedom Fighters platform, we also have the situation whereby we know 
that the urban voters are more savvy, techno savvy, they are more exposed to data faster and in terms of all the interaction that they have. Uh, they already know because they suffer much more under ZANU-PF than the rural folk in terms of service delivery, lack of jobs, etc. So the people that we really need to all target... We have worsened a better music. We have seen better things. We've been and through it all. And NPP has been a very wide strategy to approach there, uh, both in uh, terms of ensuring that we are speaking to them, not in English eloquence, but in the vernacular languages okay. of the people. And that is our strategy, and that one I can talk about openly. But, but, oh, but also, oh, right, also okay. uh, what, what you hey, need to do, le, one, 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 let, let try not to expose the leadership, my politicians, at this time. And you, uh, 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 yeah, but like, like I said, Mkoma, maybe we'll talk about this offline. Yeah, okay, let, okay. let, let me field some you, questions. Okay, uh, and back when the man Mkoma Ben Foot, but I, but I, but I, one more, one more, but I, but I, but I, I couldn't answer to a bunza ka Mkoma, but I, Mkoma Ben Foot, yeah, fire your question, please. <laughs> There are not even one question. Eh, 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 uh, now, don't you think it times it is better to also uh, not live here to, to be exposed to the world? Uh, for example, going on a show like Hard Talk, I'm not sure about uh, this stage, but uh, what is it that you wanted to achieve? <coughs> I think I think have done a good job of marketing NPPA than my juro at this stage particularly because all you have done I think is you've armed this NPF now to the extent of which even my rural people are going to dig into them. Why do you so the same group of people are not being trying to tell us that we are not doing the job. But we are not doing the job. We are not doing the job. So I just want to know from you what the what the thing was to come up to run the part two. Ah, the talk is just a program, Mkoma. You seem to elevate it highly. It's more popular amongst us Zimbabweans because we listen to BBC. If you go to America, they don't care about that. They've got their own folks and CNN, etc., etc. It's just not to call the radio. It will not to talk about the messages because of the pathetic state of the broadcasting services in Zimbabwe. So the truth of the matter and the equity, it's also an elevated platform in terms of its global reach in order to deter in Israel. But beyond our own social media and the technical <coughs> service that are uh, on uh, public platforms, Akuna Kuma Kunenda had to Kuma Reserva. In Otokundwa, in Studio 7, in Obrotkasa, in English, Shona, in Debele. So, Had Toku is not a big deal. It's only a platform whereby the British themselves uh, solicit our politicians so that they can discern what is going on. It's not inward focusing in Zimbabwe. Hard talk sure. is hard. If I can answer, hard okay. talk is hard talk, and it will always be like that. I'm telling you, a new not even in the Zimbabwe. It's that's the format of that platform, and the doctor Mujiru must be exposed to such formats. I have to confront them uh, whether she will have a fox pass. She will learn. As she goes, she will learn. She will have to be exposed to all these things. We can't protect her from things like that. And as I said, uh, I know critical strategy, uh, some of the things that uh, are being asked here were put into our frequently asked questions, which are questions that the president will always have to deal with. 
So these things are going to change. You must remember she's been in the ruling party forever. It's her first time to be in the opposition. And it's her first time where she will have to face the kind of interviews that Mugabe denies everybody else. No one in Zanu PF other than Jonathan Moyo has ever had the kind of opportunities to be fielding these kind of interviews at all. No one. Nobody ah, in Zanu PF ever get that. Mugabe monopolizes that, that. So it's new exposure and it's important for us that she is exposed to it early on. Learn from it and let's see if she's going to be improving in terms of uh, being able to be consistently answering in the same manner and using the same diction. Okay. Uh, Sally, you want to answer a question? Do you want to pose a question, please? No, I just want to say something. That's all. Okay. Um, and you just throw it an ammo if you say something and you're not asking a question. <laughs> uh, listen, I couldn't care what Moyo says or does or anything else, okay? It's my name is Sally, all right? Look, I don't care how she speaks English. As far as I'm concerned, she speaks brilliant English. Okay. Hello. Good evening, darling. Hello, my sweetheart. <laughs> Ewe. Ewe. No, no, shut no, up. No, shut 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 up. Can I please say what I wanted to say? Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. You men are disgusting. You really are. <laughs> Just fix them, please, my darling. Anyway. Okay. What's your quick question or what is your two? No, points? I just want to say the English, as far as I'm concerned, was beautiful. Yeah. Um, I love her. And this I've said to you before. I love her simpleness and her thing. I just want her... I don't want to know any secrets or anything like that. I just want her to speak from her heart and to admit, not divulge secrets or anything, just admit some things, okay? Yes, I was there. Yes, I did that. Or, or as, as part of the government, I was responsible or whatever okay i took too long to get out i'm sorry finished end of it that's that's it i don't want any ins and outs and ums and ahs and i don't want to know any state secrets because they're going to come out and get washing anyway okay yeah in addition in addition to what sally is saying uh, well, what I could have also uh, answered don't myself. Don't amend. Don't amend. Do you don't? That's, that's why I said in addition. 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 I Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes, uh, yes, my darling Sally. Well done, Sally. Uh, well done. Dr. Mjuru will continue to show her penance. Her coming into opposition is part of her penance. And there's nothing absolutely wrong with her admitting that she was part of some of the decisions collectively and mm -hmm. uh, handed down by the government of which she was a major part and she openly says so but she also qualifies it by explaining that the monopoly of power within the NPF is within the president's office himself the singular president everyone else gets to rubber stamp it uh, this is where the issue that i said in zimbabwe there are three very crucial books for people that need to understand how the state operates. If you go to the legislature, there is a book of rules in parliament where everything from etiquette to how you interject, mm -hmm. how you stand up, how you, it's all pro proscribed mm -hmm. within that little book. Every mm -hmm. parliamentarian has to adhere to the rules of that little book. Even if they just decide to make a point of interjection, it has to be within the confines of the regulated, proscribed uh, scenario within that little book. If you go to the judiciary in the courts themselves, 
they've got that little book, that little deal about court procedures that must be followed over and above the criminal or civil case that is being heard. There are rules of the court. There's a little book that judges also follow in terms of procedure. If you go to cabinet, there is a cabinet little book that has got again the same procedures of our cabinet functions. And within that little book, it also has allusion to how you operate within the confidentiality of state business and decision making. Which means that even if the president makes the decision himself, when it is presented at law, it's a cabinet decision. This is what happens, and eventually, those that really aspire for politics must understand how the state works and what regulates it and what limits the functionaries within the state from doing what they do or how they conduct themselves mm-hmm. okay. and how right. they do state business. Okay. So this is the situation where Amai apologizes consistently about collective responsibility. She admits it openly. Uh, maybe she'll do it a bit more often for the sake of her detractors. But as I said before, most of the people clamoring for this are, are very few that support it because most have seen beyond that. But it's yeah. the, those that hate it, that want to entrap her with that, that make the most noise. Hey, the greatest haters of her are the ones that make the most noise about that. Okay. Yeah, no, it was just that the way, just hang on a minute, please, okay? It was just that the way that she, it seemed almost like she was avoiding just saying, look, this A, B, and C, finished. End of story. Try, you know try, try, try one example, Sally, so that maybe I can answer more clearly. Oh, my darling, please. I've got so much cuck running around in my head at this moment. <laughs> I... <laughs> Seriously, yeah. you can't ask me something like that, okay? My mind is, <laughs> it doesn't multitask, okay? It just goes into spin, all right? Oh, oh. But, okay, listen, sweetheart, let me give you a bit of a spanking quickly. If no, you, you're not going to give me a hold spanking. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Dude, if I you, don't want penance from you, her. I don't no, no, want. it's not serious. It's not serious. If yeah. you can't remember a specific, you can imagine she is having to deal with the turmoil of all the questions raining down on her. Oh, Who'd expect as a politician she's is. supposed to be able to yeah. face them up, which is what you are yeah. saying. It, that's why we are saying she should be exposed yeah. more to these you kind of what? interviews. Right. She went into this nervous, okay? All right? Yeah. Because that's a bugger, that man. All right? She must... What is being said by me yeah. is not a criticism. It's just for the next time. That's, that's all. Good. All right, a question for... No, 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 no. Please, please, guys, please, guys. You have to consider other people. Mukoma will bet uh, you've got a question there to ask. Yes, I do. Yes, yeah, sorry for uh, keeping you waiting. You know, Mipunza, I know I'm monopolizing. I, 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 um, I expected Teach to defend her, and uh, and he has defended her very well. Uh, but you know, I, th- I think the other thing that we have got to look at here is that we are not looking at simply uh, party interests. We are looking at national interests, and I think that is the. Um, you know, the angle from which we should uh, tackle this issue. Just for, 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 for you maybe, Tish, to clarify, um, one of the things that that we are looking at here as a nation is we want a, a democratic Zimbabwe. And yes. in this particular case, how is my Mujuru going to change anything? Is she going to carry on with the dictatorship and just change the name and the uniform and, and who is leading it. Because it doesn't appear as if she understands what democracy is. Is she going to, part, to participate in the next elections, for instance, without reforms? Because if she does, then the, the elections will not be free and fair. Now, how can she say she, she is after democracy when she is not pushing for free and fair elections? Uh, can I answer now? Sure. 
I, I think for for some reason, which is very unlike you, Mkoma, uh, you seem to be oblivious of the fact that uh, NPP is one of the major components of NERA. And uh, at one point before we split uh, to take away the ZMPF brand, uh, we actually chaired NERA. So we are part and parcel of demanding the same reforms that other major political parties are demanding, like MDC, like MDC, like PDP, PDZ, you name them. We are part and parcel of that. When they went for the Bikita elections, Dr. Mjiru was completely against it. And the people in Mashingo ended up just doing it anyway. That's why Makova ended up retiring. That's why you ended up with the whole lot being fired. It was because of that policy discord that they had created. And then they wanted to shift blame. So the situation that we have is we are all for reform. Dr. Mjuru is on a trip of being a bridge and ensuring that whatever mistakes that she may have done whilst in government, she will do a, a part in ensuring the transition from the toxic Mugabe era to a new, more democratic dispensation of tolerance, she plays an important role in ensuring that. I can guarantee you, as time goes, you will hear her conciliatory tone, especially when she addresses issues to do with the democratic choices that the people of Zimbabwe must enjoy. If you listened at all to anything she said in London, at the London School of Economics, she said after five years at independence, they, the guerrillas, should have been prepared to hand over power to more civilian authority in terms of developing a new ethos and a new cadre of a post-independent country. But that never happened, and she was too young at the time because she was just 25 when she came back from the war. And you can imagine uh, there were people that were seasoned, like all the robots, the Mugabes. So at the end of the day, it's a situation that she completely acknowledges. But to answer your question, we are up for reform, myself included. Uh huh. Okay. Um, I have another question. The question was in this particular case, there is not even one single reform that has been implemented in an election for reform because that opens the door for Zanopi to rig the elections. How can she say she believes in free and fair elections? And then take part in an election that you know it's going to be rigged. I think it's a very good question. Let me expand on my answer as you have expanded on your question because I see your trajectory. The important thing that you need to understand, Mkoma, is that the elections that are coming, it's just we are already part of a grand coalition foundation, which means there is no other way that we are going to operate outside the grand coalition. Now, what you left to understand is that the grand coalition is going to have terms of reference. The political parties that are going to form the Green Coalition are going to have a memorandum of agreement. Within it will be specified how decision-making is going to be made, and the leadership of that coalition will be hierarchical. So it's not going to be up to NPP or Dr. Mujuru. It will be up to the coalition leadership, which will be composed of members of the coalition making decisions based on what they see as the most pragmatic interest of the coalition in terms of it seizing power and changing the democratic dispensation of the country. It's no longer up to Dr. Mjuru. She will only play a part along others in terms of the terms of reference and the memorandum of understanding that will be signed to enable the coalition to become functional. Uh-huh. Right. Uh, uh di wamatangira kwanze um i will still vote for my juru after this and i agree with Sally's view that uh, she should come out and uh, apologize to distinguish herself from uh the atrocities that happened in the past or whatever but anyhow uh that's hey, what we did you say that can i say one thing you know that drop us out Tapizaga Chirungam, Doctor Rashi, 
Now, in as far as I am concerned, you would have to be able to do what you want What we want to hear is my policies, ANPP, not what people want to hear. Uh, that is uh, the, 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 the first comment I did. In which page this is DJ Sota, I don't know what you want to do with Dr. Fiza. Yes. Uh, I think it's an ass proud by showing uh, Africa and the rest of the world how to kick out my dictators Radega Garabayanga for uh, last time on this program people were saying defeat has been a disaster, it would be an embarrassment and he has delivered. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Yeah. Uh, how did you manage to do that? We have listened to better news. We have seen better campaign. things. We, we can do it all. You Zim Net Radio that way all the way. Yeah, I owe to Era. So, so they won a fair vote. Do you want to send money to Zimbabwe? Well, your bank is here at no cost to you. That's right. No cost at all for you to transfer money to anyone in Zimbabwe. All transactions are in US dollars delivered within 24 hours. No but not. For more information, please contact Dr. P. Masena at 469-348-8895 or Dr. Peter Ruinga at 574-315-5080. Remember, no transfer cost to you, no bond notes, and delivered within 24 hours. In fact, Benford, the correct answer, the correct answer, the correct answer, was holding on to power by intimidating everyone else. Yes. The only person who refused if, to be If Sepp Blatter had not been kicked out, I had to understand that. Eh. Because I'm not against it. Yes, I'm I'm going to be giving you a bigger picture of the Musa to field jungle. It's the global football change. Ah, I see what you are saying. We understand that part. The only reason I mentioned is because on this particular show, people were saying Chiango is going to be a good you are trying to glorify what is not there. Uh-huh. Our position on Shiango is to deal with these <laughs> ethics from within the confines of our Zimbabwe situation. And the yeah, but last time we were talking is, about the yeah, global football. is based on a global I don't care. I was still not taking place in I don't football. like it. Finish. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry, Eric. I'm going to say, you want to say something? Seven years 
Thank you for calling me. I not I not I not uh, he was telling us, he has been telling us, uh, Joyce has been a rural girl ever since, and this is what she is, and this is what she's going to be. Uh, she has failed to change despite uh, all the positions as a minister, as the vice president, and now the leader of a party. How is it going to be now with a rural girl as the president of a country? That was the question. Uh, what's wrong with the rural girl as president? <laughs> Ah, ah, sorry, can I not go to the problem? Many the ultimate monologue. So, anyway, let, let me just like anyone else. I'm getting monologue. No, a problem, Yakum Koma Moyamazana, and you're not going to tell me nonsense. I'm sorry. I'm always going to be right. I don't want to go to the right and I'm specifically says on my day. A panama was not above Vunza, but you entertained them forever. Ah, but I don't know. 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 I I'm an asset. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I do I don't know what I'm I'm Vatendera Pasirose is, you know, Menenga Mane and my affectations, my accents, my diaspora, Gomunogara. She speaks without affectation to her diction. That's it. It's about her diction. It's not about what she knows or can do. It's about her diction. It's not going to have. All those lyrical eloquences of Allah Robert Mugabe. No, she will always speak as Jason Juru, not imitate anybody, not make any false accentual affectations at all. I want to ask Moyo a question now. <laughs> What's wrong with the rural girl being president? Yeah, a yeah. good question. It's a very good question. Yeah. <laughs> Now I'm asking you, Moyo. I think I think Teach needs to understand that I think nobody on this panel, I listened it from from the beginning, ever criticized my Juru for for the for the language she was using, the oh, way she used, the way she pronounced. So I think I think it is not fair to start accusing people in the year which he, uh, if he had it for he had it from somewhere else. But no one. Hi, okay. More than when you started talking about it, teach nobody ever said 
they, they, they didn't like the way she spoke. No, I'm not, say, I'm not saying I'm not saying it come a little bit. If I not remember target, I think I should repair with that. That's just the way Titch talks. Okay. <laughs> You've just got to understand that. No, he was answering questions. For him, I'm come a little bit. I'm not for a good bite and dig dice. It is also very, very international. We've traveled the world. So, to not go on with accent ourselves to suit the environment yet negative. We can even lift our addiction or lower it to suit the environment here. Tiri, those are tiri isos. Takango zaro taka daro tiri. Nah, ita unwe gate. Right. Okay. Um. This is guys. Uh, we we got to stop it there. Our time is up. So uh, we're gonna call it a day. Uh, more after next week, yeah. Uh, at as soon as I'm a teacher, please just turn yourself in. I think if you push a couple of people and I'm coming, I'm going to go with my dictator. I know dictator who is a who never give up on a papa because she's not dita in rich. Is that you know about you and got in one man? I know that's true, that's true, it's good, very true. But my last comment that's why she's a Japanese can and 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 but don't you think you are more? Than what I did, let me give you a tip more. Can I'm still Bunza? Can I panic question and answer question? Nigga, Muno Bunza Bunzu crisp and short. Quite a good better reference. Good as a matter of Gureria, Negureria, Negureria. Very no, you no, you're not. No, you're not. Let me help you. Let me help you. Because once, yeah. you, once you start going in the last year, in the last show, in the last show, mm. the person has <laughs> I know it put up my defense is okay. And then the communication of it has failed. So the best way they could move wounds of wounds what are we doing more wounds as we follow up question that's what i always do say good now you don't moyo you go on a rant don't you jump by the time you ask your question the person has gone to sleep and you must learn is is gonna sit out as gosh i just go to our good day we don't want to discuss with no we are saying she know to make a good to make a progress can i'm so if you don't see it that way, that's uh, that's you, no pro- problem. No, 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 I get it, it's a good. Only that you yeah. can find one person. Yeah. If you look at everyone else, others have gone on and on and on, not even ask the question. Boyo, must, but you it's not always, a must you always look at other people? You can never take criticism on yourself and look at it and decide, hmm, maybe you're wrong. No, you've got to, ah, uh, this one and that one and yeah and that. Which is true, nice and good. And now the same. I don't want people who are not right. I don't do that, Sebo. No, what is important is that they could teach us. 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 Then you try to clarify about it. At now we are on the side and the the most aggressive group of Bangladeshi. As now we find, but now we are on the side. 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 We are on the Okay, guys. Uh, Rama Rama Changi, Rama Changi, what about you? My phone is tapping. Zaga, she 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 don't want to come on.
Hello? Okay. Hello? Wama tangira muripo ira? Mashurangu. Right, guys. We will see you next week, right? Uh, Zimbabwe, we will see you next week. Same time. Um, more we are on time, aren't it? <laughs> uh, please, uh, have a fabulous weekend. And uh, we will see you next week. My name is DJ Soza here. Pa Zimnet Radio. Be good to yourself and your loved ones. Goodbye. <laughs> Oh, daddy.